take two. Tell me where you're on. You're on? Yes. All right, this is Shane McDonald, Communication 115, and uh, we've gathered a lot of people in different age groups and different uh, places in their physical fitness journey, and we're going to talk about the benefits of exercise on good health. I'm going to use a PowerPoint presentation. I've made copies and handed those out. I've also handed out a bibliography to every one of my works uh, cited or, so that they'll have the, the sources that I used and they'll refer to that. Um, Today I want to talk about the benefits of exercise on good health. Has anybody ever wondered what, anybody ever lost five pounds or tried to lose five pounds and wondered how, you know, how much that really was? That's what you lose when you lose five pounds. Five pounds of body fat. I live just like that. So good health should be on everyone, everyone's mind. Um, so that's what I want to talk about today is uh, the benefits of good health and uh, physical fitness. It's going to have uh, mental and physical benefits to you uh, through exercise. Um, in 1992, I weighed 209 pounds and I was overweight. I worked at a car lot. That's all I did was sell cars and sit and eat. I wasn't working out, I wasn't doing anything. I was lethargic, I was, uh, uh, didn't have much energy, I had back pain all the time. So, you know, I, 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 wasn't, I wasn't doing very well. But uh, after a little while, uh, I was getting moody and things like that too, so then I decided I was gonna start exercising, I was gonna change, because once I got divorced, I was like, I gotta do something different. And so I started exercising, and I ended up losing 30 pounds. And I started exercising uh, five, six times a day, and I still do that to this day. Stay, stay in shape, and uh, my health's been really good. But in 92, when I started working out, uh, everything changed. I had more energy, I didn't feel so bad. Uh, uh, it, really, it, really, it really helped me out a lot. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna talk about today. I'm gonna go over some proven med medical benefits also, I'm going to talk about some ways you can exercise. There's different ways you can exercise, different forms of exercising. And uh, talk about some stumbling blocks, some things that might get in the way of you exercising. And uh, then I'm going to get your feedback on it. See what you guys think and if you can fit some exercise into your routine or if you're already exercising. Um, all right, if you look at the PowerPoint presentation that I handed out, the British Journal of Pharmacology has an article written by David Bailey in November of 2013. And some of the benefits of exercise on your, on your health is that it reduces uh, obesity, heart disease, joint diseases, many different forms of cancer, and uh, diabetes. So it's interesting because over the last 50 years we've kind of evolved into a lazy culture, you know. Uh, Computers had a lot to do with it now. You got video games and kids sitting around. Not, not as many people are going outside and, and, and exercising like they should. And because of that, the, the same article, the, in the same article, the World Health Organization has listed um, physical inactivity as the fourth leading preventable cause of, uh, of death in the world. So. There's a lot to be said about exercise and health. I mean, our bodies were made to be in motion, you know. Uh, biologically, we're made to be doing things, not to just be sitting around. And uh, also in the same article, uh, written by David Bailey, it, uh, the British Heart Foundation recommends that 30 minutes, five times a week, is a minimum to maintain good health. Okay, five days a week, 30 minutes a day, that's it, is a minimum to obtain good health and to maintain good health. But also, it, uh, it says that if you add two days of muscle strengthening, just two days of 30 minutes of muscle strengthening a week, then it'll majorly enhance, it doesn't give you percentages, but it just says that it will, you will achieve maximum health benefits from just adding two days of muscle strengthening. Just, it doesn't have to be huge heavy weights, everybody ain't got to be, try to be uh, real swole like, uh, like uh, uh, Robert over there or nothing. 
<laughs> but uh, anyway, also, if you wonder about just just kind of how calories work, you know, uh, Linda Sheldon has an article in the Natural Health Journal, came out in April 2004, and her findings were that if you walk briskly for 15 minutes, then you can burn up to 100 calories for walking briskly for just 15 minutes. So, but anyway, we've gone over some of the benefits of, of exercise on your, on your health in general. Now, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and talk about some of the stumbling blocks that might come up. Some of the stumbling blocks that might come up, a lot of people will say, you know, like that, they don't have time. They don't have time to do 30 minutes a day. You know, I work, I do different things. Um, you can always break those, your workout down into two 15 minute intervals. That's what Linda Sheldon said in the same article for the April 2004 Natural Health Journal, that you can just break those workouts down. If you want to do 15 minutes in the morning before you go to work, 15 minutes in the evening when you get home, you know, to unwind, just anything you can do to move around basically will, will increase your, your, your heart rate and that will affect your, your metabolic rate and uh, it will have a general overall benefit to your health. Another stumbling block people will have is uh, children. I got kids. How am I supposed to work out with all these kids running around? You know, if you got one child like I do who's 23, good lord, will somebody please take this kid off my hands? And put him back to my speech. Um, <laughs> If you, if you have children, you can always find something that your your kids are interested in too. You know, maybe your kids like baseball or throwing a frisbee or just nature in general. You can take them out and start walking and doing different things. Throw the football, throw the baseball, uh, and spend some time with your kids. So that way, you know, you have family time and you get to burn some calories too. You get to be more active. That's the key to this whole thing is just understanding that being active has got a, a major effect on your health because our bodies are made to be in motion. And uh, also people are going to think that they, they might hurt themselves. You know, you might get hurt. My, my, I'm not used to exercising so I, 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 I might pull a muscle or something like that. Well, Linda Sheldon in the natural uh, Health Journal in 2004, April, she mentions and addresses this specific fact and she says that if you're afraid of that, you can just start walking, start doing some hiking or trekking. You can even call a friend and have somebody come over, but just walking or going slow at first, just by doing that, you'll strengthen your calves and strengthen your ankles so then you can slowly move up from there. Now, those are some of the the stumbling blocks and uh, so we've talked about some of the pros and some of the cons that we uh, that are offered from from exercise what it does to your general health you know and uh, so what I'd like to do is get some feedback from y'all do you guys think that y'all can uh, work out there you go does this sound doable when can you start what works for you already? Is anybody in here working out already? What do you do? Weights. Just weights? Yeah. You don't do any cardio? Uh, I you used to. to. Yeah. I used to do a lot, yeah. And you look like you do a lot of cardio. <laughs> You're pretty, pretty, pretty slim there, pretty, pretty good shape. But, uh, you know, does anybody have any, uh, any questions or anything? Uh, yeah, I got a question. All right. Uh, you said in 1992 you started working out? Yes, sir. Uh, <clears throat> can you give me like a specific example of how it helped you mentally? mainly? Well, it's been proven as a stress reducer. The World Health Organization that David Bailey uh, on the work side, uh, the David Bailey article, uh, it talks about um, that it's, it's proven that it reduces stress. Because a lot of times you get built up from doing stuff and, and like I said, you're, if your body is biologically made to be in motion and then you don't do that much stuff, then you're going to build up a lot of tension, a lot of stress and, and it's proven in that article. You can pick that article up and look at it on any, any find it on the, online on any computer and uh, yeah, it's a proven fact that it reduces stress. So.
Any more questions? Robert. So say say you do physical labor for work, does that count as well, would that count towards exercise or? Definitely, I definitely, because I used to be in the moving industry and I used to, <coughs> to move furniture and do things like that and I definitely didn't work out as much as I did when I had an office job. Okay. I mean, a lot of this stuff too is going to fall under common sense, you know. When you yeah. look at the World Health Organization saying that you need five days a week of 30 minutes of workout, you know, aerobic workout, that just means elevate your heart rate, you know, and then two days of muscle strengthening. Um, if you're working in a lumber yard or doing something and picking up stuff all day long, that's definitely you know going to work. You know, <clears throat> your body's just like a machine. However many calories you take, it's going to use. If you got leftover calories, it's going to store it as fat. That's just how that works. You know, and your body can hold a lot of fat. That's just five <laughs> pounds. Anyway, um. So does anybody else have more questions? Yeah, um, from 1992 until now, you said you've been working out this whole time. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what kept you motivated? I asked Prison. that because, huh? Prison. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay that's... Yeah, I did, I, I did about eight years of prison during that time. Right. So, But no, what kept me motivated is that when you start working out, you start feeling better and you notice a, a mood change. like. Uh, when I used to be on drugs, it was a mood change. So when I quit doing drugs, I noticed that there, you know, when you start having to live like normal people in your own skin, you start having to feel things. You know, the thing that I felt was that when I worked out, I felt better after I worked out. You know, I felt uh, you, your body releases.